Okay, let us discuss problem 1.269. Uh, this is related to finding moment of centrifugal force. So 1.269, finding the moment of centrifugal force. Okay, let me first make the diagram for this problem and then we will discuss uh, what this problem is all about. So I have a axis. So this is the axis of rotation and you would call this as O dash and O. And there is a point in the middle, this point they call C. And there is a rod that is attached at angle theta. And this rod is called AB. Now let me read the question. A, a midpoint of a thin uniform rod AB of mass m length l is rigidly fixed to a rotation axis o o dash so this is the rotation axis rigidly fixed at midpoint the rod is set into rotation with constant angular velocity omega so rod moves with constant angular velocity omega find the resultant most resultant moment of centrifugal force so this rod is moving something like this so you see each point of rod is moving in a circular path so this is moving in this circle upper point is moving in this circle this is moving in this circle this point is not moving at all now this is moving in this circle so each point so if you consider this point this point is moving in this circle so each point of the rod is moving in a circle so I can say each point of rod is moving in a circle. But we have to find is find the moment of centrifugal forces. So we have to find moment of centrifugal forces. So let us say at a distance x consider a small part of a sphere uh, this rod that is dx and let us say lambda is mass per unit length so lambda I can define mass per unit length is m by l so mass of dx that is dm will be lambda into dx now this is the mass of this small part so this is a small part of the rod now on this rod, this is a moving in a circle of radius this. What is this radius? So this is x. This angle is theta. So this is x sine theta. So radius in which dm is moving. So this radius is x cos theta is this. x sine theta is this. So this is x sine theta. Are you getting? So what is the centrifugal force? So centrifugal force is m omega square x. And this will act in this in this direction. So centrifugal force I can apply in this direction. So this is m omega square r. And r here is x sine theta. So now I can say centrifugal force on dm mass. Centrifugal force on mass dm. this will be m omega square r and m is basically dm omega square and r we have already said this is x sine theta so this is x sine theta if I want I can plot for a uh, give value for dm that is lambda into dx so this is lambda into dx omega square x sine theta so this is the a small mass having the centrifugal force is this. Now what is the moment of this centrifugal force about point O? So the question says find the resultant moment of centrifugal forces of inertia relative to the point C. So I have to find moment of momentum, moment of a uh, centrifugal force about point C. So what is the perpendicular distance of this force from center? So this distance. Are you getting? So this is the distance. So you can find this distance this is x, this is x sine theta, so this is x cos theta so this distance is x cos theta, are you getting or not? so this distance will be 
x cos theta so moment of centrifugal force about c this problem is easy problem moment of centrifugal force about c this is going to be this is the force lambda dx omega square x and theta into distance distance is x cos theta i already said this distance is x cos theta so we will have lambda omega square x square and sin theta cos theta theta is given to you into dx now i can also say this is small moment so moment let us say this moment is dm so total moment so this is a small moment dm i can write lambda into omega square sin theta cos theta x square dx if i want to find total moment i have to integrate this and this length will go so this side i will have negative x so this is minus l by 2 this is plus l by so the total length of the rod is l so if i go this side i will have minus l by 2 and this side plus l by 2 or you can do other way around integrate from 0 to l by 2 and then you multiply by 2 so one can also do 0 to l by 2 and then multiply by 2 because symmetry of the problem says the moment of this side will be same as moment of this side so i can multiply by 2 and i can integrate 0 to 2 that if i take 0 i will have here and l by 2 i will have here so what do i will have lambda omega square and let us multiply sin theta cos theta into 2 that is sin 2 theta and integration of x square is x cube by 3 and i have to integrate from 0 to l by 2 so this will be lambda is m by l we have already said omega square sin 2 theta And x cube is l cube by eight, and eight into three that is twenty-four. So l cube by twenty-four, and l will go. So we will have l square only. So we will have m omega square l square sine two theta divided by twenty-four. So this is the total moment that we will have. So moment of centrifugal force. So this is the moment of centrifugal force we will have. I think all of you have understood this one. This is a pretty easy problem. What we have to do is we have to first show the centrifugal force on a small mass dm, and then I have to take the moment of that a small force, and then I have to integrate. So simple. Why I have to integrate? Because centrifugal moment that is a function of x, and that's why you have to integrate. If you have here, you have different we have here different because x changing moment changing and that's why you have to integrate i cannot simply write let us discuss the next problem i think all of you have copied this one this is a easy problem